yellow. Sometimes it comes out so light that I just put it on directly. So, but right now I'm going to put it on lightly for the base. And you see how it comes out a neon color? That's what yellow gives you. Now, since I've got a uh, pencil around the outsides here, um, the yellow might end up uh, picking some of it up, which might dull it a little bit. Don't worry about getting into the hair. Um, you can always cover that up with your uh, hair colors. Got our neck. If you want, you can uh, keep in mind your um, light source, that it's coming from this direction. This, uh, and I use these uh, eye light, eye, eye shines to let me know where the, you know, sometimes uh, where the light's hitting the hardest. So where it's hitting the hardest is going to be this way. So most of my shadows are going to be this way. So if I was doing a nose shadow, it'll be going this way. Same thing with the chin, or the head shadow um, over the shirt. <laughs> She's darkening up nicely. And it's a nice light brown. It's what you can get with the, the Sharpies, so don't give up on your Sharpies. I'm going to go ahead and put a, uh, the yellow on the top of the lip but uh, and very little on the bottom. Okay. And where it's darkest, I'm going to put it on directly. But you see how it becomes like a green tone. Okay. All right, there's our yellow. Kind of icky, huh? <laughs> All right. Um, we've got, I'm going to put red down. Let's see what we get with red. So let me jot that down. We got yellow. And that'll be the first one. The second one will be orange. No, I said red. Okay. But we'll do orange anyway since I got it here. O R A N G E. Okay. Now, orange is uh, yellow is one of those colors uh, that is part of the uh, the scheme. It's yellow, mostly yellow, red, and a little bit of black. This is how it's reacting with the orange. And when you when you're coloring, just keep in mind that your your face is round. You've got a lot of round spots here. The cheeks are round. Your eyes are round. The head itself is round. The nose has a round ball. Think of that part as a round ball. Some may look a little bit more pointed or square. 
but um, basically it is kind of like a round ball at least on these faces Now, if you're drawing maybe a lighter skinned character, you could probably get away with just doing this. bit more here. the cheek round. It's lightest where the light hits it and then it starts to get uh, as light as you go away from the light it gets darker and darker and then it gives it the appearance of roundness. Like right here is where it's hitting it the hardest even though this is like a ball and then the further away that we travel the darker it'll get. So you can get a little bit darker right here before we light it up again. I'm going to add a little bit more orange here, and I'm going to add a little bit more orange around the sides here. And I'm going to work it this way. And the nose. And I'm going to bring this out a little bit. Okay, so now that we've got our orange down, okay, we can either go with purple, um, and that'll bring us the darker tone down here. Uh, we can add a little bit of red to give her, uh, we want to give her more of a pinkish tone if we want, you know. Um, for brown, let's go ahead and go with, um, let's see, we've already got yellow. We'll go for a little bit of red. Um, I was going to use the orange as the red, and then uh, we could also use the purple to give it that darker shadow. Let's see what it looks like on the neck with the purple. See how dark that is? And it looks like it's about to bleed, so let me hurry up and start spreading that downwards. I do have a lot of water down on this. And we'll end up letting that dry a little bit because purple has bled just a little bit into the face. Okay. Let's try. 
try a little bit of purple around the edges. Just enough to give it a little bit of shadow. This is more of a lighter toned character. We want to kind of hide some of that yellow, uh, that neon greenish yellow, or else she'll have like a sickly tone to her. And I'll put a little bit of purple up here. And I'm using very light yellow, uh, purple. Very, very light. So here we have our lighter tone person. She's looking a little purple, so we might need to add a little bit more orange to it, okay? So we'll, uh, this is the girl that was drying. See how she's like a little bit of purple? If you like the effect, you could just leave it alone, or you could add more orange, and that brings, that should bring out more of the brownish tone or browner tone. Okay, so let's keep going with her. Just a little purple. And then we'll let that dry just a little bit and then we'll add more orange. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit uh, of pink to her face, just a little bit, or actually rather red, super lightly. That way, when we come back with the purple, it'll um, it'll look a little brown. This is what red does. And since she's a lighter uh, character, we're going to uh, keep her very light. So touch lightly. Work off any excess excess red on the neck, and then come to the face and just barely touch Okay. And then what we're going to do is uh, let that dry just a little bit and then we're going to come back over with just a little bit of orange. Okay, here we go back with some orange. This is what it looks like on the neck. And we're just going to lightly touch. And we want to cover up some of that yellow. Okay, and then we're going to work some of the orange into uh, the cheeks and the uh, highlights 
just a little bit. We're not going to obscure it completely, just a little bit. Okay, we can go a little darker. See how it's smeared a little bit, some of the pencil? There we go. And if this person's still too light for you, then you want to come back through and uh, with a little bit of purple, and uh, but lightly, very lightly. If she needs to be a little bit redder, you could add more red. Um, but uh, since she's uh, more of a personal color, uh, 